in a previous video, we had this set of uh, three by three linear equations. Let me just show you those. And we found out that there were infinite solutions to them. So now I'm going to find a general solution for the infinite solutions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a t value to be something arbitrary in here. So I'm going to make z t. So I can either have x as b and t or y as b and t or z as b and t. So I'm going to make z equal to t. And that's my first of the equations. I'm going to go through equation one, or line one rather, and line two, equation one, equation two. But I'm going to multiply equation two by three. So it's going to become 2x plus 3y minus, now z is t, and this is 5. And I said I was going to multiply this by 3 because I want to eliminate the y's. So it gives me 12x's minus 3y's, 9t and minus 9. So now let's just add those two equations together and we get 14 x's. The y's are gone. We're going to get 8t and minus 4. Now I'm just going to rearrange that and make it t equals. So I have t equals negative 4 take away 14 x's and I'm going to divide all of that by 8. Well clearly that's minus 2 minus 7x all divided by 4. And that's now my second solution. So I've got t equals to z and t equals to this in terms of x. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with line two and line three, but I'm going to eliminate the x's. So I'm going to have this as being 4x minus y plus three z's, but the z's are t's minus three. Now I'm going to multiply this by four. So it gives me four x's minus eight y plus eight t and minus 16. Now remember, I want to get rid of the x's, so I'm going to do, going to take the second line. This one, take away this one, is going to give me nothing. This one, take away minus 8y, is going to give me 7y. This is going to give me minus 5t's. And this, take away this, is going to give me 13. Just check that that's right. By times that by minus 4. Yep, that's a minus 3. Minus 3. Uh, add 16 is 13. Now, when I come to rearrange this, this is going to give me t 7y take away 13. And I'm going to divide all of that by 5. So when I look at this, this is my third part. Every single x, y, and z has now been written with t equals. So I'm going to start off with z equals 7y take away 13, all divided by 5. And that is also equal to all t's. That's also equal to minus 2 minus 7x over 4. Now, what you will do is if you put that into your calculator, you might see that there's a different rearrangement, but it's just going to be the same thing. This is actually, this final general solution written like this is actually the Cartesian equation of a straight line, which you're going to find out a lot more about later when you do vectors. Now, what I'd like you to do is if you go back to the previous one, I'd like you to rearrange this one to find the general solution. 
And I'm not going to give you the answer because you can find it on your calculator. There's also very, there's lots of forms of writing it and you'd have to rearrange and check again.